Hey, it's Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. Who would have imagined in those pioneering days of motor racing just how far and wide the love of speed and competition would spread? From Brands Hatch to Jerez to Valencia, the European Grand Prix has made its home all across the continent. And now a new era of this storied race brings us here to the edge of the Caspian Sea. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask Anthony Davidson what you expect to see in terms of strategy today. I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management? A lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual, if I'm honest. What I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. OK, remember to protect the inside on the run down to Turn 1. Make yourself as wide as possible, robust but fair. With that then, let's run through the grid order. It's Renault in pole position then, and Nico Rosberg completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen and Perez, Massa, Alonso, Gutierrez and Rio Harianto, Button, Sainz, Max Verstappen and Grosjean, Magnussen, Ericsson, Nico Hülkenberg and Daniel Ricciardo, Verlein and Kvyat. Valtteri Bottas and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
win then for the Renault team today. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. As we can see, it's time for the podium and I can see the Renault team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their drivers walk out. It was a great win and it means a great deal to this team. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's moving on to the Driver of the Day then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? That's got to be the Flying Finn. Wait, how many Flying Fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. And now let's take a look at the Constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.